This is Code.org. I'm working on their CS Discoveries course, and then I am on Unit 3, which is Animation and Games, Lesson 16, Collision Detection, Part 3. And I noticed a lot of code here already, so I have to hit run. I want to see... Ooh, can we... Looks like we're, we might be popping a balloon animation. Ooh, and a... All right. Anyways, uh, let's see here. Balloon. The code below uses the sprite's X and Y position to check whether they are touching. It will change the balloon's, the balloon's sprite's animation when the tack touches it. Use the arrow key to move the tack until it touches the balloon. Oh, yes. Sir. Uh, no, probably not up, huh? Over, over, down, pop. Goodbye, balloon. All right. Do this. You do not need to change any code on this level. Perfect. Read the if statement inside the draw loop and find the difference the different sprite properties and how they are compared. Okay, so let me shrink this up. I'm not changing code. All right, so let's remember the draw loop. Oh, I think I'm going to have to zoom. Uh, maybe I can fit all this code. Wow, that is a lot. All right, you do need to... Uh, okay, so here's our draw loop, right? Anything inside the draw loop is repeated over and over again 30 times a second because that's how fast uh, frames generate and how they are compared. Read the if statement inside the draw loop. Find the different sprite properties and how they are compared. All right, so if, wow, that is a lot. So if the tax x location is greater than the balloon's x location and tack minus balloon x location is less than half of the width plus half of the width of the balloon. What in the world? I gotta zoom out. There's too much code on my screen. Um, oh, I know this. This is an or. Two lines in code means or. So if all of this or all of this, if those are true, then it would run the code inside the if statement. And if it's false, oh, and then if those are true, it's gonna, oh, look at that. So. I guess if the X and the Y are close or are touching maybe, then it it's going to run whatever's in here. What is in here? Oh, well now it's going to check if the Y is close. And if they are, then it pops the balloon. So I believe that's what's happening. If these two are plus is less than... Yeah, so we're adding together the width of the half of the tack and half the balloon and seeing if that is less than their locations, which would mean they're in contact. And then same with the X property and then putting up pop, I guess. All right, well, I'm excited to get to use this code ourselves. So discuss with your partner. Hi, partner, would you write, would you want to write this code every time you checked whether a sprite is touching? We're touching, no, that's a lot of code and looks complicated. I mean, we could do it, but all right, let's see what the next level is like.